Hello, my beautiful and talented people. Thank you to everybody who's been liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, and booking readings. I deeply appreciate you all, as always. Uh, as a thank you, I will be giving away two free readings when I hit 8,000 subscribers. So be subscribed and comment, and you are in the running for that. Uh, today we are asking, how are they feeling about you? And I will be doing some more readings for the new year. Um, just... Uh, to add a little bit of extra for the people who've been watching me. So we've got pile one, pile two, pile three, and pile four. Just want you to remember, um, my email is in the description right below the timestamp. So if you do want to contact me in order to book, that is the way to get in contact with me. I am not going to solicit you in any way. If you do end up winning one of the giveaways, I'm going to post that on the community page. So. Um, but we're still a little bit only more, we're a little bit more than halfway to our next goal. So I deeply appreciate you all as always, and we're going to move on to pile number one. So it's time for pile number one, my gorgeous angels. Happy New Year, you gorgeous people. How are they feeling about you right now? How are they feeling about you right now? We've got the Ace of Cups. That's a new re... Ooh. Two very promising cards. Uh, new beginning in love. Maybe up-leveling of commitment. Two of Cups. We've got the Six of Pentacles, which is generosity equal give and take. Um, practical balance. Ooh, but we have the Four of cups and the four of cups is a little bit of a block to love because the four of cups does not allow us to receive it or does not allow us to give it um, because we are too focused on things that quite frankly aren't what we should be prioritizing so i do feel like this person does want a new beginning i feel like there is you know this is the ace of cups this is the ace of cups but that Four of Cups is an issue that we need to talk about because there definitely needs to be this practical balance within your relationship. So why is this Four of Cups? This can be a fear of, ooh, I heard abandonment. I don't know if there's a fear of abandonment on your side or maybe a fear of abandonment on their side. And this person, unfortunately, sometimes people with fear of abandonment will abandon other people because they feel that that is how they can protect themselves, even though they are simply making what they fear happen. Um, and we have clarifying that the Nine of Pentacles. Now the nine of pentacles is stability. Um, but it is stability within a person, a single person. Now it doesn't necessarily mean that person is single, but it means, I, I feel like there definitely needs to be somebody in this connection, somebody that may you know, not be receiving or giving love the way that they need to. Um, and like the only solution for that seems to be them finding that stability within themselves. Um, because as much as we would love to fix, stabilize, help our partners, and sometimes we can't, but we can't, we can only do it to the extent where they can be stabilized because there is something, you know, like, uh, so there, there may be a need for either you to stabilize yourself so you can receive a new beginning in love, or there may be a need for this person to stabilize themselves so that despite the fact that there is this love that they can either receive it or give it, um, instead of focusing on these things that aren't as important but you know our fears hold on to us so there is definitely a need for somebody in this connection to create greater stability 
within themselves. Uh, and also, if, if you're dealing with somebody that, despite the fact that there is love in this connection, despite that there are reciprocal feelings in this connection, that you're still feeling this person is making you feel rejected, there is a need for you to choose your own stability here. So, uh, how are they feeling you? How are they feeling you? How are they feeling about you? We've got the Ten of Pentacles, and the Ten of Pentacles makes a lot of sense with the Nine of Pentacles, because the Ten of Pentacles is the strong, stable relationship, and the Nine of Pentacles is the strong, stable self. And sometimes in order to have this new beginning, to have a strong, stable relationship, we need to have that strong, stable self. And we may need to be dealing with two people who have that level of stability within them. Queen of Cups. Is this you? I feel like for most of you, like you have been this very loving, very emotionally giving person. Um, and again, there's potential for wish fulfillment and even long-term happiness here. Um, but this, this needs to be dealt with because this is an issue of stability for the connection. So, so this person, they feel affection and there needs to be, but uh, there needs to be grounding. There needs to be equal give and take. Um, and there needs to be stable people in order to have a stable connection. I don't, there's certainly not a lack of emotions. But if somebody's cutting themselves off from that because they have a fear of loss, it is the exact wrong energy for having this come together because this has to come from a place of generosity rather than a place of um, withholding in fear. So you very much might be showering this person with all the love that they could possibly want, um, but they may be in a state of too much fear of loss or too much um, just general unhappiness and being kind of wedged in those because four is stability but sometimes you're stable in the wrong ways <laughs> um so there is a, an ability for you know equality and the effort necessary and the grounding necessary but um there's a really big difference between the nine, uh, the four of pentacles and the nine of pentacles because the four of pentacles leads to the five of pentacles it, it is a self-fulfilling prophecy of lack and loss but we do it because we don't want to lose the nine of pentacles is when we are not in the miser energy but when we are in genuine energy of abundance which gives us a brand new beginning, something steady, stable, that can be built into this Ten of Pentacles. Uh, but in order for there to be a new beginning, there has to be an ending to things that don't work. So either you or your person, there's... Um, my light was deciding to fall over because, well, you know, graceful as always. I just felt like, usually I wait a little longer to get the charms, but I just felt like I was supposed to grab some for you. So, there are new beginnings here, but something needs to be, there's a fear-based mindset. Um, and unfortunately, that fear-based mindset is more afraid of loss than it is. It's like more fear of loss than wanting to gain. So these fours need to be dealt with. 
because um, they are going to be an issue with the connection. And it's like there does need to be balance within this connection. There does need to be stability within this connection. And it cannot happen if one person is withholding. Even, whether they're just not letting... It could be that they're just not letting or accepting the love that's coming to them because they have these fears, but it is there. There's an issue here that needs to be considered. How are they feeling about you right now? Three of wands. Either there could be some kind of um, time issue. Ooh, ten of swords. Yeah, it could. It's even though there's a. There are three new beginnings here. There is love here, um, but there's also a difficult ending and there's stuff that needs to be let go of so that there can be a new beginning because this is the end of a cycle and the beginning of a cycle. Um, but somebody's holding on to something that they need to let go of in order for manifest manifesting this connection. So we've got the 10 of swords I feel like there may have been some significant ending or betrayal between the two of you. We've got the two, I almost said two of cups, which was right here, but it's, it's not the two of cups, it's the temperance card, which was kind of like a, a sneaky two of cups because there are two vessels. It is the alchemy card. It is make it, it's creating harmony. There's a need for there to be harmony within. I feel like there needs to be harmony within both of you in order for there to be harmony within the connection. Um, that even if there is mutual affection, um, there can't be A lack of giving and there can't be you know rejection so there is definitely a chance for you guys to come into balance between the two of you um, but a stability needs to be offered and I feel like there is a specific person in this commitment that or if there isn't a commitment because there quite frankly might not be a commitment here um, there needs to be there needs to be somebody who offers something real and I feel like whoever it is needs to be this person who has been withholding that real thing because of fear um, just know that as, as difficult as it may sound um, until this person's ready they're not going to be ready um, so just know that until this person is ready to let go of whatever entrenched thing that they're doing and having their own stability or you letting go of whatever entrenched thing is, is an issue between this connection. Um, but whoever is withholding is going to have to be the one who does the offering. Um, because otherwise it's not going to work because you just can't move somebody until they're ready to be moved. Mean what you say and say what you mean. It really is that simple. I feel like there is longing. There are emotions here and there is some chance for reconciliation, but um, Uh, there needs to be um, moving away from set behaviors that aren't going to be conducive for that. Uh, get good at letting go of what doesn't suit you. So I feel like there may be a need to release the connection for some of you, especially if they're 
Um, if you have had a, uh, an ending and this person is not moving things forward, um, and it doesn't mean that this person may not come forward, but I feel like <sighs> this person will have to come forward in a way that is conducive to having some success in your connection. And they need to be moving, uh, saying what they mean and meeting what they say. So, I mean, as much as we care about people, I feel like there's, there's going to, this person does need to be accountable for, or whoever has been withholding here or not allowing things to happen. Choices. Doesn't seem to be a lack of love or affection, and it doesn't. And there are definitely opportunities for there being a brand new beginning, but it's all about choices. And unfortunately, we don't get to make choices for other people. We just get to decide whether this person is being something or somebody that is helpful and healthful for us. If they are saying what they mean and meaning what they say and giving them the space to either fix that or give us the ability to receive um, the love that, you know. So um, I do have, in, ca uh, in case of a serious accident, please call a priest. So between that and the 10 of swords i feel like there has been some kind of serious issue that you guys have had between the two of you um and there is a need for there to be a change for there to be um maybe even an intervention but um but you uh yeah, there, there's been, like, there's definitely new beginnings here, but there's been endings here as well. Um, and this, how this relationship goes is not yet decided. It's going to be decided by the choices um, that are made. I've got the cloud, so I've got, like, a lack of clarity. I do have this methes where there's not a lot of joy i have one which is about our manifestation our ability to manifest on the universe and i have the letter j so and we have this little kitten this very cute little kitten and i feel like there's a need for kind of nurture here clarity on the kitten Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands is communication, it's action. And I feel like there's a need for nurture. Oh, I don't know. Like if you've been doing all the nurturing and then the connection, you're, the nurturing has still been recognized, but like this person will have to find enough stability within themselves in order to properly receive it um but if you're doing all the nurture you also need to recognize that you deserve to have nurture as well so there's a lot of choices that need to be made here there is not a lack of affection but there's really a need for somebody to close out some really um you know some very defensive thinking that's you know that's keeping things stagnant because there needs to be balance within both of you in order for there to be balance between the two of you. Uh, and that does not happen if you're holding on to somebody.
who, at least at this very moment, is not giving you what you deserve. So, because unfortunately, no matter how much we give to some, a uh, love we give to somebody, which does matter, um, we kind of deal with people as they are, not necessarily as they potentially could be. And people are capable of change, but it's a lot of work. It's not easy. Um, so it doesn't happen without people wanting to change, people recognizing that they need to change, people putting effort and energy towards it. And it's never external. So I know that, uh, that that was a little bit intense. I deeply appreciate you all as always. Thank you so much. Uh, if you do want a free reading, I will give away two once I hit 8,000 subscribers. So be subscribed and comment and you're in the running for that. Thank you all again and happy new years. And it's time to move on to our gorgeous pile number twos. How is your person feeling about you right now? How is your person feeling about you right now? Pile number two, Justice, I love to see it. Justice, Queen of Pentacles. Three, <laughs> awesome. I think I said three, uh, and then we have the Queen of Pentacles, uh, the Three of Pentacles. I feel like this is very beneficial because this person really wants there to be balance and cooperation between the two of you. This person definitely sees that there's relationship potential between the two of you. This person does recognize that there might even be, that there is love and that there may be a spiritual connection between the two of you. Two very spiritual cards. Also, Major Arcana, Major Arcana, and Major Arcana. So a lot of Major Arcanas, this person feels very strongly about you. I feel like this person is, oh, and 333 three, three is on the clock just as I look down. So this person recognizes your connection, recognizes the potential commitments, and almost like a, a calling to a higher commitment. Uh, if you are doing fairly well with a, a relationship with this person, this person is probably going to bring things to a higher level of commitment between the two of you because these are very official cards. This is a very balanced card. This is about a relationship potentially and being very officious or open about it. So, um, but this person sees you as ideal relationship material. This person, cooperation, collaboration, building something with you making something official here and having this loving connection and having there be balance, which, you know, is exactly what I want for all of you. Now we'll see if the other cards uh, change things up a little bit, but so far I'm extremely happy. We have the three of pentacles again. Um, this person really wants to have cooperation, have collaboration, um, maybe even make something that is bigger than just the two of you. Like potentially a family. This, uh, ooh, this one, you know, of course she is cradling. Um, I've got the 10 of wands, but I didn't feel like that was for everybody. And the 10 of pentacles also came up, so... There is uh, a potential, you know, anything. I feel like there's a need to potentially leave behind the things that don't, um, you know, coincide with a long-term, steady, stable relationship. But so far, I'm getting a lot of really beneficial cards for a strong, steady, stable relationship. How does your person feel about you? How does your person feel about you? Queen of Pentacles over the Queen of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles twice. How does your person feel about you? How, uh, you know, I feel there is possible some anxiety, which we will go into. Ooh, we've got the, we've got some more interesting, but not necessarily more appreciated cards here. We have the 
Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands is fears, anxieties, intrusive thoughts. We have the Nine of... Well, that's the Nine of Swords. The Nine of Wands is the Wounded Warrior, which, um, you know, still fighting to, you know, despite not being um, fresh or an easy thing. But it's also can be a defensive energy. So I don't know if this person feels like you are afraid of being hurt um, and you may be less open because of that. Or this person definitely sees you as relationship material, but this there's the seven of swords. We're going to get clarity. The star and the six of cups. Now, the star is a very good thing to get on top of that uh, nine of swords because the nine of swords is... Our mind punishing us with everything we fear and everything that can go wrong. And the star is that hope and healing and rebirth after everything might have gone wrong in the past. But we heal, we grow, we have hope, we are, we receive wish fulfillment. And we have the Six of Cups, which is tender, kind, reciprocated love. So I don't know if this person senses anxiety or fear in you, but if they do, it's, I'm getting, so either this person is dealing with fear and is coming to a point where they can heal it, or this person is sensing your fear and really wanting you to be in a place of healing because they have this loving, um, caring feeling towards you. Now, if it is what they want from you, you are responsible for dealing with your anxieties and fears because this person, yes, they can show you a lot of love, but only you at some point can accept that you're actually being loved. So, like, you have to be willing to overcome your own fear, if that's the case. If this person has had, you know, fears, anxieties, this person is coming to a place where they're reconciling and healing from that, which could create a lot less um, issue within this connection. We also have the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands can be a very blocking energy. We've got the home and the king of cups. If you're blocking, what are you blocking? Are you blocking happiness or stability? Um, because I, if you're not, if maybe this person has in the past, I feel like they're coming to the realization that Maybe they were anxious about what was going to really cause them wish fulfillment. Maybe they were blocking what would be stability and a home. And, you know, possibly there's a lot of marriage cards here. So long term. Uh, so whatever is going on here, I feel like overall, at least the energy from this person is pretty positive in in seeing you as this person that is this relationship is this that they can have this and you guys are not without you know any fears and you guys are not without any things that you may need to overcome or maybe you just stop fighting because what you're afraid of might not even be on the table and if it isn't on the table this person is starting to realize that if if there's you know if if there really isn't something to be afraid of here this person is starting to realize that they can put that guard down temperance 
Yeah, I feel like this person definitely wants there to be balance and harmony in this connection. Um, and there is um, a, somebody here taking a risk. So this person may want to take a risk towards you. Um, this could be somebody, again, this person could have been in a state of fear and anxiety, but I feel like because of thoughts that may or may not have been true, but with the lovers coming out twice, I see this person um, realizing that as much as they may want to keep their hearts safe, you know, they might be choosing love because it may not actually be logical if there's no real threat. Ooh, just when I thought we were out of the water, we have the devil. So the lovers and the devil are kind of the shadow side and the greater um, spiritual path of deep connection. Both of them are deep connection, but one is potentially unhealthy versus the other one is a balance of complementary and health. So let's get a little bit of clarity on the devil. This person also may realize that they, they have a choice between whether this connection is something that's healthy and whether it's not. And it may not be healthy if people have their guards all the way up or especially if only just one does. Clarity on the devil. Star. There's a chance for healing here. Uh, and I feel like this person, whatever, whoever has the greatest anxiety aside, I feel like this person does want there to be hope and healing and a new beginning and wish fulfillment. Um, I'm almost getting like this person may be a little bit risk averse, but um, Sometimes, I feel like this person definitely recognizes that there is an ability for love here. Um, and that holding and closing off the heart is not uh, as logical as they might have thought it was. Uh, and I think that they might recognize that that causes there to be imbalance when there does not need to be in balance, when there needs to be stability for stability. So overall, very beneficial, but of course, you know, the lines, you know, there does need to be a choice to pick healthy versus unhealthy patterns in your relationship. But I feel like whatever is going in here, there's definitely uh, somebody in this connection that is go that is offering a greater degree of commitment. And there is definitely a scenario in here where there is, you know, like, you know, if, if you guys are doing pretty well together, there is definitely a chance that um, you guys will do to a whole new level of commitment. Um, because a lot of the issues that might, um, still have been an issue, I feel like most of those are going away. They still need to make the choices. You guys still need to choose to be healthy, just like this person does. But thank goodness you're weird, right? And be unapologetic about your passions. Those are very clearly about being you, the idiosyncratic, weird you that you know that you are. 
be unapologetic about the joys and the passions that you have. Lean into the actual person, no matter how weird that person is, because it doesn't mean that you can't have stability and it doesn't mean that you can't have this. It just, it actually opens up the door to the right person because gratitude. I do feel like this person is very grateful for you. And of course, you know, we still have to be good people to our partners. We don't need to, you know, take out our unresolved stuff on them. But that's not, you know, but being the weird, quirky person that we are is being honest about who we are. Because they're going to figure it out one way or another. So... Eight of Pentacles and the Key. I'm really getting that there's, for most of you, there's going to be a lot more stability. There's a key being opened right now for prosperity, for that King of Pentacles, for that person that is a perfect match. There is maybe some work, um, stability, energy, and effort that needs to be put in. Um, but I'm definitely getting that this person is very, uh, very serious about this connection. And, um, and I feel like whether you were withholding, uh, well, not necessarily withholding, but like I'm getting defensive. I feel like there were walls put up pretty high, whether it was you or whether it was this other person. I feel like those walls are going to come down. Um, and I feel like you guys have gratitude for each other. I feel like this person has a lot of gratitude for you. Which we should have gratitude for our partners. But, like, just know, like, the Aquarius, you know, the, the star is ruled by Aquarius. And Aquarius... It's about being that weird, quirky little you. And that's, a, you know. So I feel like this person might recognize, you know, like, it's not a bad thing if you're weird, if you're the same kind of weird, right? If if you can a accept your weirdness together. That there is a key, that there is prosperity there. Um, but... This person's very serious about you. Very serious. So, so if you're afraid, then just know that it's probably okay to let down the fight a little bit. To let the good things in. Uh, and if this person has been afraid, this person is starting to come to re the realization that there's no, you know, that it's more irrational to be afraid when there is so much abundance that is coming towards them. So, overall, extremely beneficial. <laughs> I deeply appreciate you. And we're going to move on. Uh, and happy New Year to everybody. Uh, and we're going to move on to pile number three. Just make sure that if you do want to contact me, my email is in the description right below the timestamps. And if you do want a free reading, I'm giving away two as soon as I get to 8,000 subscribers. So, be subscribed and comment. And we will move on to pile number three. So my gorgeous angels, how are they feeling about you right now? We have the seven of pentacles. There could be some kind of waiting involved. Um, how are they feeling about you right now? The magician. The four of cups. And the ten of cups kind of fascinating so with the seven of pentacles there was a seed planted but maybe there has been some kind of gestation period like some kind of a time where it seems like nothing is happening we have the four of cups 
and we have the Ten of Cups. Now, in the Four of Cups, we have the Ace of Cups that is being offered, but it, uh, unfortunately, in the Four of Cups, um, there is a situation in which somebody is so unhappy with what is in front of them um, that they're not looking at what's being offered. I don't know if this person sees you as somebody that won't take the cup, won't take the love being offered, or if this person maybe has been... Well, I'm going to get some clarity on that. Clarity on the Four of Cups. Because I feel like this person really wants to manifest in long-term happiness. And it does look like there has been some kind of opportunity for that. We have the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is a can be a single card. I don't know if this person chose to be single over that connection, but I feel like that's only for a very few of you. Um, I feel like this is more about self-worth. I feel like if this person did not in the past uh, accept this connection, that it may have very much been about this person's self-worth. That doesn't mean that, you know, you need to give this person infinite, pro uh, you know, choices and chances uh, because what was offered was real affection. Um, but as an explanation and not an excuse. Um, if there was a rejection, um, it very much was tied, I think, to this person's sense of self or lack of self-worth. Uh, and I feel like that may have caused there to be a significant pause in this connection. Where the seeds have been planted, the offer was given. I feel like this person is still trying to manifest in this happiness. <sighs> but in order to have that happiness, because we have the Two of Pentacles clarifying the Seven of Pentacles, right next to the Nine of Pentacles. When you have two plus seven, that is nine. So this person, I feel like this person is constantly trying to manifest in the love that they want. But they also may be having trouble receiving the love that would give them this until they can have stability and self-worth in their life. I feel like this is some kind of issue with them where it's um, where they want love. They're actively manifesting it, um, but maybe they can't allow themselves to receive it because it would require them to see themselves as worthy enough of receiving it. So this might end up being a frustrating situation. Not because they're, you know, let's talk about the magician. Because I feel like this person is actively manifesting. They really want to have love, but there is something practical in about receiving that, the, that they're having a problem with. And of course, the Ten of Swords. Now, there may have been a very significant ending or um, maybe a complete lack of communication here. Maybe brought on about uh, regarding a rejection that they gave you when you were offering them what they've been manifesting into their life. 
frustrating. But this person, it's like they're not stopping the manifestation, but they really need to work on grounding. We have the King of Wands. Um, with the King of Wands, King of Wands is kind of like the King of Leadership, the King of Charisma, King of having a fire under you and realizing that it's your, it's necessary to take action. It's necessary to be in the driver's seat of your own life. So is this person the King of Wands? I feel like this person needs to, they need to act like this is their life, that this is, in order to get the Ten of Cups that they want so much, that they work so hard to manifest, they need to realize that it's not just manifestation, it's also action. It's also taking the leadership role in your own life so you can let good things happen for you. Ten of Cups and the Sun. So I feel like yeah, this is, I, I know this is a very frustrating experience because you do make this person happy. They can have happiness with you, um, but there has been rejection. Uh, and this rejection is because this person really needs to have some personal stability because otherwise, even if they're given what they want, have been manifesting they don't take it so you are or have been a massive blessing to this person just know that you have been but again it's coming to that nine of pentacles that self-worth that stable sense of self And we may need to have a stable sense of self in order to accept profound abundance, which you do represent. Clarity on this Ten of Swords, Five of Pentacles. That being said, there has been a significant ending. There is being out in the cold. Yeah. This person is kind of reading as their own worst enemy here, and I'm sure that that's frustrating to deal with. <sighs> because this person doesn't want to be out in the cold, but they they want to manifest that love but they can't accept the love that they are that they actually manifested in with you because it requires a more stable sense of self so we have the nine of pentacles twice we have this adding up to a nine of pentacles there being a need for balance because there is an imbalance here And if this person like didn't accept um, the offers that were being had or make the offers necessary, it did lead to there being an end. It did lead to there being, instead of abundance, lack. How does this person feel about you? I feel like this person does want to take some kind of action towards you. And I feel like this person does feel like they have to do it with some urgency. Maybe even just because there, you know, has been a lack of action in the past. 
this flipped over gratitude. I feel like this person does need to show you gratitude because you may have been a significant blessing in their life, but how would you know if this is their actions? So let's uh, pull a few more cards. How are they feeling about you right now? But this does feel like they keep manifesting you back in. But they, they just don't understand, to some extent, what they're manifesting in. I feel like they do recognize happiness. That, you know, that it, it's just more of a need for them to allow themselves to be happy. I doubt that they're making you happy with this kind of decision-making process. How are they feeling about you right now? How are they making... <laughs> Well, eight of pentacles. This is progress because we have the seven, the eight, and the nine. I feel like this person is being, they're realizing that they need to put in more energy and effort, that they need to change something, they need to put in the work to do to get to the place where they can have this happiness. They are not quite at the Nine of Pentacles. They need to be at the Nine of Pentacles though, um, for this not to be a weird kind of cycle. But I'm actually getting that the seeds were planted, yes, But this person, I think, is actually putting in energy and effort. You may not be seeing it yet because this person, the biggest thing that they need to do is build themselves up so that they can take the abundance from the universe when it's offered. They, they do need to come in and show you and communicate with you. Those are things that absolutely need to happen. But they need to be in a place where they are steady and stable enough that if you give them another chance... It's not going to be a waste of your time. Ace of Cups. The person does want an emotional new beginning. I feel like if they had an ending between the two of you and they had some kind of ending, even if you're together, there's something significant happened. Um, they want a new emotional beginning. I don't think that they enjoyed the results of not choosing the blessings that were given to them. Uh, but I feel like all of this requires them healing. I don't feel like this is a particular, like this person is not coming off as somebody who's manipulative or mean or cruel, but it does mean that this is coming off as somebody who is an unhealed person um, who does need to go through the healing so that there can be health between the two of you. So I, this person does have feelings for you. They do have love for you. They do want a new beginning. Uh, they need to do their own personal healing. And they need to build things up. And I feel like they're in a place where they realize that. They have the... Nine of Wands. Is this person keeping up a big uh, defense? Some of you, like this person has definitely done that in the past. And I feel like for some of you, they now realize that they may not be as welcome in your life as they were in the past. That maybe you're tired of fighting. Um... Because again, this manifesting you in and then um, not choosing the thing that would be what they've manifested in their life, which is this Ace of Cups, 
is exhausting for anybody who's dealing with that with them. So I feel like as much as it does, I feel like this person is recognizing that they need to put in the energy and effort um, to have a beginning to heal up. Um, and they're not entirely sure that their reception is going to be with open arms. But this person does see is their Ten of Cups. The, the dog is unconditional love, um, is, um, and we have the sun, the Ten of Cups were, was in this pile as well. It's like this person, in order to have the Ten of Cups, they need to come forward and be somebody that's stable. Uh, and I feel like this person once they can do that, I feel like you are going to notice because that person is going to five, 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 five was on the counter, um, for how long the video was. So that's change. So I feel like you're going to notice a difference in this person because even if you may not be able to fully accept this person with open arms because of you do not want to relive this cycle ever again. Uh, I feel like you're going to notice some kind of difference because this person will be steadfast uh, in their appreciation of you. Once they can actually come forward and be uh, healed enough that they don't reject love but this is, of course, not saying let down, because I don't think you should let down your guard until this person demonstrates that they're loyal, that you can depend on them, that they love you. They do need to show you this. And they do need to put in this work and they do need to do this healing. Uh, in order for you guys to have this new beginning in love that can turn into this Ten of Cups for you. So it isn't about skipping steps. Like this person, you know, like you don't want to keep going on the merry-go-round with this person because it's really not in either of your best interests. You're not doing them any favors and you're certainly not doing you any favors. So how do they feel about you? It's okay to stay in your bed and watch Law and Order all day. I feel like it's okay if you're not okay about this all the time. And I've got be bigger and better than your situation. I feel like this person is recognizing that they need to be guiding their own life the way they want it to be. Um, being bigger and better than whatever situation caused them to have this lack of self-stability or worth that kept them from accepting love that was being given to them. So I do feel like this person is feeling like they need to put in the work to be better. Um, which is good because I think that that's very much true. As much as you may love them, regardless of whether they change, it doesn't mean that you can be with them if they don't. Clarity. How are they feeling about you right now? Hope. This person still has hope and healing for... This person still has hope for this connection, and I feel like you are kind of a beacon of hope for this person. Even with the Ten of Swords that came up, like, there's still that dawn that's coming up behind on that card. The potential for a new beginning.
so let's get you some charms and I will get you some Lenormans. There we go. We have the letter B. We have very few charms this time. Got the star. Hope. There is hope here. And lilies. That's about peace. Yeah, I feel like there's somebody here that they need to find peace within themselves in order to bring peace into this connection. I do feel like there is definite hope. Um, and if that happens, there will be a reconciliation. But with the King of Swords being up on the very top of there, there, there is a need to not put up with things that aren't okay. No matter how you feel about it in your heart space, like, because um, what will work between the two of you is something that's healthy, something that can grow, something that there, there are seeds planted, there are emotions already there. But this... All of this pentacles work, moving from the seeds planted to putting in the energy and effort necessary to having that real self-worth, real sense of self, it's all necessary to grow and to grow something together, to have something be healthy here. Because even if this person doesn't mean any harm, it doesn't mean that they aren't doing it if, if they're not getting their self together. So we've got the letter B and we have the hat, the little red hat, which is about using your head, having confidence, being yourself. And I feel like anything more, I feel like I should grab one thing and rub that red hat and I don't know why, but star. Just know that you also have your own healing to do. Which quite frankly, this person might have caused you to be in a position where you have to do that healing. Um, so while you're, while this person is figuring out how to break out of this cycle Make sure that you're not neglecting your own healing along the way. So there's definitely, this is hope, 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 wish fulfillment, wish fulfillment, peace. But yeah, um, there has been a vicious cycle here. And it's a vicious cycle that can end, but it requires um, somebody to stop manifesting and then not choosing their own manifestation. Uh, and that is something that deep down, if that's you, you're going to know it's you. And deep down, if it's them, you're going to know it's them. And if it is them, then it's something that you, yeah, you might have to have some boundaries regarding this until they heal. Because um, you deserve to have balance and health within you too. Um, But yeah, I feel like there's, this person needs to come back balanced or not come back. And there is hope and healing for that to happen. There is an ability for that to happen, but um, this cycle just can't keep happening. Uh, so I know that that's, uh, that's a lot. <laughs> Happy New Year's. I really hope that this helped you. 
Uh, if you do want a free reading with me, I'm giving away two as soon as I get 8,000 subscribers. So be subscribed and comment and you are in the running for that. I deeply appreciate you if you want to con uh, contact me or book a reading with me. My email is in the description. I do not solicit in the comments. Um, and just, just to keep our community safe, if, if you need to speak with me, that email is the best way to do it. So thank you. I really deeply appreciate you. And we're moving on to pile number four. Pile number four, my gorgeous angels. How are they feeling about you right now? How are they feeling about you right now? Ten of Swords. They're feeling like there's an end between the two of you. This person may have hope for the connection or like they're really concentrating on their healing. Emperor. Hope came out again. So I feel like this person is very focused on um, healing and very focused on what they need to do to create the world around them that they want to happen. We have, uh, you know, like there is hope, there is, uh, but I feel like this person may not be fully focusing on this connection. Um, And partially because there is this ending here. Clarity, how are they feeling about you right now? Eight of Wands. This person is putting a lot of energy and effort um, forward right now. I feel like very specifically to have what they want out of life happen for them. They're very proactive in using every tool necessary in order to make that happen. How are they feeling about you right now? Uh, but for some of you, they might be focusing, yeah, for some of them, they're really focusing more on themselves than they are on you. Because this person wants there to be wish fulfillment. This person wants things to be better. Uh, this person, uh, and they're putting a lot of energy and effort into creating stability in their life. I think we definitely need to clarify this Ten of Swords because I feel like the Ten of Swords is really significant here. Clarity on the Ten of Swords. King of Pentacles. Are you the King of Pentacles? I mean, whether you're dealing with somebody who's feminine or masculine, this person, and maybe due to an ending in this connection, due to their being, uh, maybe a lack of communication, uh, this person is focused on building something real and physical. Um, this person is focused on probably creating a lot of abundance in their life. This person um, may... Uh, so this dead person, like a lot of you, this person's moving forward. Um, because of this ending because this person maybe doesn't feel like they can affect um what happened but they can create um stability for themselves moving forward But this person very, very, like, it's very strong. Like, this person wants a steady life. Um, and this person is very much making that happen for themselves. Uh, 
Uh, I feel like, and again, like this person is just taking as many baby steps they need to do in order to create more stability in their life. It's like, it seems to be like the biggest focus. With the nine of wands, like this person may be tired of fighting. Um, I don't think that they're tired of fighting for stability, but I feel like um, they don't, like they, they just, they don't want to deal with any drama. They just, they don't, like they're so, like they don't want to fight and if they have to fight it's like they can't you know they can't keep fighting so they'll put their energy someplace else i don't know why that's i, I just i just felt a very over it energy 10 of pentacles uh yeah because this person This person has decided that they will have the Ten of Pentacles and they will have it with you or they will have it without you. But they're deciding that they're going to have it one way or another. This doesn't this isn't an energy of somebody who's waiting. They are not waiting. They are building. I don't know if they're building with somebody else yet, but they're building. Like, how is this person feeling about you right now? Three. I feel like like this person does have longing for you. Like this person kind of hopes that you will show up. Uh, but again, they're not really waiting for that. They're waiting for their ship to come in. And they're going to have a ship that comes in. Uh, but like if things were not stable between the two of you, if things fell apart... Like this person wants there to be hope and healing. Um, this person maybe still has some hope um, for you, but they don't do instability. They, they're just not gonna do it. I mean, maybe they have in the past. I'm just, but they won't because they're just done. So I feel like If this person feels like they can't have something stable with you, they're going to move on. Not because they don't care, but because one way or another, they are going to have this. And you, and yeah, it's just, this is a, deal breaker like it has to be stable or they're so clarity how are they feeling about you right now and again like maybe this is how you're feeling about somebody else where you really hope that something will happen but you're building your own life and you're going to make the life you want regardless of whether this person shows up uh for others of you if you had a severe you know like if there has been a difficult ending between the two of you if things have fallen apart um this person needs to see that you can have something stable together because they were going to build that one way or another it's just whether they build it with you and it's not a lack of caring uh but this person, like, they just don't want an unstable life. 
Temperance and the Seven of Wands. I feel like this person is trying to find peace uh, and they want somebody that they can have harmony with. We have the Seven of Wands. We have the Seven of Wands and I think we had the... Yeah, we have the Nine of Wands right there. So this person could have some somewhat defensive energy regarding you. But just know it's only... There's only an issue if there isn't if they don't feel like they can have stability with you like if they feel like that they can have stability with you they're gonna build the ten of pentacles with you because that's because that's just what they're going to do and maybe this person is defensive unless you come forward in a way that you guys can have a real um steady stable commitment And again, for some of you, this is your energy and not the other person's where, you know, you're choosing that you need this in your life and that this person can fulfill it or they don't fulfill it, uh, but you're going to have what you want. So messages, how does this person feel about you? But for a lot of you, like this person is building something up and they're not necessarily building it with you. Unconditional love. And it could, like, there still could be love between the two of you. This person may love you still. Or you may love this other person still. I just started, I just heard the song, what love, What's Love Got to Do With It by Tina Turner. Um, so just know that, like, even if there's love here, there needs to be alignment. There needs to be harmony. That there is hope. Um, but there needs to be an end to instability and... Difficult, painful experiences here. But I do feel like, yeah, this person loves you and this person is kind of hoping that you will um, do, you know, be that person. But this person is not waiting for you to be that person. And this person will build something up. Party like you mean it. And... Continue to push barriers, break down walls, and question the norm. Do you break down barriers and question the norm? It's, I mean, it does feel like there's some barriers between you in this connection. And, you know, maybe you do need to realize, oh, realize if you have made any barriers in this connection um, that maybe have caused some kind of ending. Because not, none of us are perfect. Um, with party like you mean it, I feel like you need to take the enjoyment and happiness and act like, treat it with the seriousness that it deserves. Six of cups. There is a chance for there to be a return, a reconciliation in this connection. This is a reconciliation card. This is a reconciliation card. This is a wish fulfillment, hope that there really is love in this connection. Love card, love card. Um, but this relationship will either become steady and stable or there won't be reconciliation. So continue to push barriers, question the norm. 
So again, maybe you're the one who's having to choose happiness and stability in your life because no matter how much you love somebody, they won't give you the stability you need. And maybe there is a chance for there to be some reconciliation there, but that would require this equal love happening. Like there can't be somebody who's coming to the party and causing um, self-fulfilling issues. Because the Five of Swords, when the Five of Swords is present, nobody wins. When we're trying to have the upper hand over somebody that we're supposed to be on the same team with, nobody wins. Both people lose. And we have endings. So I feel like if you have at some point been trying to get the upper hand in this connection, um, you're doing it wrong. Um, because what you need to be doing if you want this connection is having stability within yourself, building bridges and creating harmony so that there can be long-term steady, stable relationship. If this isn't you and you're really feeling like it's the other side that you're having to walk away from somebody because no matter how much you love them, you know, they keep on creating a um, unwinnable situation for either of you. You know, like know that you're creating a brand new life and your whole life is not hinged on this person even if you do have love and respect for them, you still can move forward. And you are moving forward. And there is some help for this, but, you know, like, obviously, in order to build a steady, stable foundation, like, both of you gotta be putting down some stones. So this is a little bit complicated because I feel like this is for both people in that situation. I feel like a lot of you might be, you know, choosing what you want in your future while still loving somebody else, but accepting that they're not, um, you know, creating anything stable with you. And if you have created your own self-fulfilling no-win situations, you need to bring different energy into this conversation in order for this to work. Because this person is not going to continue dealing in an unwinnable situation in which there are endings, very painful endings. It's, it's not because this person doesn't care, but because this person is like, this is all hinged on the stability. This is all hinged on temperance in, in, in that sense where we're having harmony, that we're building something up with somebody. Because if you're really associating with, you know, the person I'm expressing instead of how they're feeling about the other one, then you probably deeply care and deeply love somebody and you probably always will a little bit, but you're choosing what will make you happy. And this person may have made you choose between unfulfilling things and them. So, there's somebody moving forward here. And there is a chance for reconciliation still. 
there is a chance for wish fulfillment still. Um, but there needs to be that hope after the fall of the tower. We're none of us are perfect, but if we created unstable conditions, we also may need to have come in and give this person hope that they actually could have something stable with us. But it also means that we can't bring in the same behaviors that brought in the end of the connection before. Because all of that was avoidance. And it wasn't fair. And it didn't lead to anybody winning. Um, but there's like, there's a choice here. Um, because sometimes we create drama so we can walk away and not have to deal with our own self. And if that's happened, there's a lot of instability because of that. Um, and this person, the one thing that they absolutely demand in the hair is that there is stability. So there is a chance for reconciliation. Absolutely. There's hope for healing this connection. Absolutely. Um, but there is one person that is demanding and will take absolutely nothing else but there being real stability. And there's somebody else who, you know, even if there is love here, that they need to make a choice whether they want to deal with their dysfunction more than they want to have a Ten of Pentacles situation. So I feel like either this person is trying to let their success speak for them. And, and in that case, they might not even be speaking to you. They're, they're just going to deal with themselves. Um, don't let social media confuse you. You're just where you need to be. This person also may not be following you on social media or anything like that. Because like there's a choice that needs to be made. Will you choose love or will you choose the things that don't lead to a satisfying conclusion for our heart. So I feel like with let your success speak for you, uh, I wouldn't count on this person actually knowing what's going on with you unless you're talking to them. Because if you're just trying to show that you're successful now and you're just posting it on social media, hoping that they'll see it, um, somebody might be seeing it, but it's not necessarily them. Like if there has been a cessation of speaking uh, and, you know, like keep that in mind. Golden crown. Compassion. I feel like there's going to be have to be, in order for there to be reconciliation, there has to be a lot of compassion in this connection. And there has to be healing in this connection. And there has to be an end to some kind of old cycle here. How are they feeling about you right now? And this person may continue to care about you. They may still have compassion for you. They just may accept that you're not going to give them what they want unless you in some way are at least talking to them. We've got the rider, which is starting a new path. And we have the, yeah, I would say if you're not in communication with this person, assume that they don't know what's going on with you. And assume that if they, if you're keeping them, um, in the dark regarding you, that that's moving them further from you. Because we have the Eight of Cups and the Moon. Moon is confusion and fear, but Moon is also like what we don't show. 
And the Eight of Cups is moving away from what's emotionally unfulfilling and the, sometimes that's moving into the unknown. But yeah, if you don't make some, uh, like there's, there's certainly some people at this pile where they, you just need to make things clear or else this person will build a life without you because, uh, not because they don't care, but because you need to clue them in. Um, for some of you, like you may have done all the cluing in that you need to do. You may have done everything. They need to like break out of your pa of their pattern and you're just building your life up. Um, and in that case, they're going <laughs> those people are going to have to communicate with you if they don't want you to build a whole life without them. And you're not doing anything wrong without, by building a life if they aren't building something with you. Um, doesn't mean that you don't care, but I feel like there's, there's somebody here who knows what they want. They want stability, they want success, and they're making that happen. Uh, and the other person needs to um, let them know that it's possible with them. Um, because otherwise it's just going to be built anyways. This will be like, and there'll be a situation where there might be some kind of comeback, but it'll be after they've already built something completely, you know, and don't make the assumption if they've built up a whole life without you that they're going to just then drop it all when you didn't build something with them when you could. So I know that that's a lot. So I wish you so much happiness. And if you are, you know, steadfastly building a life, just know that you really are steadfastly building a life. And that the thing that you want, you are going to receive. Um, and They were gonna, they'll have to figure out whether they can build something stable with you in enough time where it's going to matter. Um, for everybody else where you feel like maybe because of your own pain, you may have maybe run from the connection, maybe not acted perfect because none of us are. Um, all you need to demonstrate is that this person can have a stable connection with you. But don't just try to do that uh, only online and not talking to this person and being like four, four, four is on the clock. So four is about stability. It's about angels. And again, this whole deck was about stability. Like there's somebody here where like the non-negotiable part is stability. So there's a lot of twists and turns in this um, relationship, but there is love here. There is not a lack of love. That is not the issue. 444 is also angelic um, influence. And again, it's the card of stability, but there's been a lot of twists and turns here. We have a D, an O, a U, an H, and an A. So hopefully any of those letters will be for you. Um, yeah, I feel like you both have hope for this connection. You both have a connection here. Um, but I feel like there's a need for growth. There's a need to maybe not just be in that fight or flight, just getting your needs, you know, like your most basic needs met. There's a need to like both be on the same level where you guys can have um, some self-actualized behavior with each other. And I feel like right now there might be two different levels going on, which is part of your issue. Now, 
if if you want stability, like there's no reason for you to go and choose instability if that's what this person is offering you. But there is a, per, a chance for this person to rise up to the occasion to being the person that can be on your level. Or vice versa. We've got the bus and the bus is moving forward. Um, but the bus is also carrying a lot of things moving forward. So I feel like I feel like there's don't be afraid of moving forward. Like if you are the person here that's moving forward, don't be afraid of doing it. Because you moving forward is going to help other people move forward. It's it's just generally beneficial. Um, we have the dragon and the fairy. With the fairy, of course, is... These are both very magical creatures. Um, so there is this compatibility because of their relative magical natures. There is this maybe need to open eyes so that because it's quite possible if somebody has been sabotaging the connections they, they they have not been opening their eyes to how magical they are capable of being and how magical this connection can be and there is um the ankh which is about life force so I feel like you guys are connected and you guys could be connected in your life force, in your, like you might have a very significant connection. Um, but just know like, it's okay if, if one person's just not rising the, to the occasion and you need what you need, it's okay to build that for yourself. And that doesn't mean that there cannot be reconciliation, but it does mean that somebody needs to rise up to what they could be. Um, which they aren't there potentially quite yet because there is a need for there to be um, a real, you know, like one person just needs to see it. They need to see the change. They need to see that you've become stable. They need to like know it. It needs to be, it can't just be a rumor that they hear. It has to be something that they see, that they can touch, that they can taste, that they can feel, that they know. Um, that that's something that's real. And it doesn't necessarily mean that your connection is insignificant because one person really needs there to be stability here. Um, but I'm just getting for one partner, it's non-negotiable. It's not, you know, like regardless of how much emotion is here, it needs to happen. So I hope this helped you. If you do want a free reading, I'm giving away two as soon as I hit 8,000 subscribers. So be subscribed and comment and you are in the running for that. Deeply appreciate you all. Thank you so much. Uh, if you do want to contact me, my email is in the description right below the timestamps. I do not uh, solicit anybody in the comments. So just make sure that if you do want to book with me, that's the way you get in contact.